You know, ever since I started this series, my friends have abandoned me, my family told me they don't love me, and I sit in my room masturbating all day. Why won't somebody love me? Would you get that? Episode 13, which means it's probably going to be a shit episode. Now, after our win against Middlesbrough, we turn back to the league where we have West Brom away, who, if you remember correctly, we beat 4-0 at home on the first day of the season. I don't know how I can fear the challenge of Route 1 football. Oh, Pulis has basically said that he doesn't appreciate the comments I made. Fuck off, Pulis, you bald-headed cunt. In order to make this series realistic, I made the brave decision to drop Sordell to the bench and only play Ings up front by himself. Could, could you imagine a partnership of Ings and Sordell? I think I'd climax so much I'd end up in a coma. Michael Duff's making his 300th appearance for Burnley. Who's that? When proud these boys go out to play, na na, na na. When proud these boys go out to play, na na, na na. When proud these boys go out to play, it's West Brom on a Saturday. He's not going to get the sack no more. I really need to get a life. Oh, for fuck's sake, how are you letting a singer score? Ooh, give me something. What a fucking headache. Ings is through and Ings scores! It's 1-1! We've been excellent in the first half. We can definitely win this game in the second. Oh, uh, clearly not then. I would also like to applaud the 200 people who paid £75 a ticket to come to West Brom and watch that 1-1 draw. I mean, without you, this club would, you know, yeah, we should have won that game. Okay, okay, don't have to rub it in. I mean, it's not like it's my worst run of the season. Wait, it's my worst run of the season? Wait, no, skip the tape, skip the tape. Oh, for fuck's sake, do you remember the last time I said this in a press conference? Fuck off. Well... Here's hoping it doesn't happen again. Oh, it's happening again. We are honestly so shit. After the embarrassing defeat to uh, Queen's Park Raisins, uh, I signed Barisha, uh, and I'm actually unsure if I've signed the right one. Okay, let's just type in Barisha and Football Manager, and let's see what comes up. Okay, let's just scroll down the list, and... Oh wait, no, I signed the right one. Fuck's sake, is there any danger of me getting a hard game once in a while? I would also like to dispel any rumours that Marvin Sordell and Ashley Barnes will be appearing in Human Centipede 4. As you can tell, I'm definitely playing for the 1-0 win this game. Why the fuck am I bothering this episode? Surprisingly, Man United are still 1-0 up, so maybe a change of tactics might actually get us back in this game. Yeah, I should have seen that coming. Someone just kill me now. Okay, considering this episode is fairly short at the moment, we're gonna go into a fourth game, which is the FA Cup game against Derby County, yay! You know what's really annoyed me? Why the fuck am I playing an FA Cup fourth round tie on a Wednesday? Like, how does that make sense? Please tell me. So injuries have cost me a few players, but I should bat a Derby at least 4 or 5 nil. Come boys, let's put this Tim Pot club back in their place. We might be 2 nil down, but at least it cannot get worse than this. Well, being the fucking idiot I am, I went into advanced tactics without actually pausing the game and ended up missing two goals. Kindly actually pulled a goal back for us, but Chris Martin scored again. Call it magic. I honestly have no words anymore. Just fuck off. Just fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. I'm releasing everyone. Well, that team talk definitely worked. I know you